Live on NBC 12, this is News Watch 12 at 6. Good evening, I'm Jessica Jukage. And I'm Dan Hagen. A new bill proposed by a GOP assemblyman in Wisconsin would peel back restrictions on hound hunting and training during the spring throughout northern Wisconsin. But a longtime wildlife biologist says this may impact animals like deer, birds, and wolves. Newswatch 12's Jake Force spoke to people on both sides of the issue and has more. Jake? Yeah, that's right, Dan and Jessica. As the law currently sits, people can be ticketed for letting their dogs chase any wild game in northern Wisconsin during the months of April, May, and June. Some lawmakers argue this is an antiquated law that isn't heavily enforced anyway. But a wildlife expert says that peeling back these restrictions could disrupt ecosystems and put hunting dogs in harm's way. My dogs are well-mannered. I like to let them roam free through the forest, but I can't legally do that in the spring because of this law. So uh, what I would like to do is make us equal to the rest of the state and repeal it back. State Assemblyman Chans Green introduced a bill that would repeal restrictions on hound hunting and training during the spring. But longtime Wisconsin wildlife biologist Adrian Wydevin argues that repealing this law will interrupt wildlife at a crucial time of year when species such as deer, elk, wolves, bears, and others are recently born. It's a time of the year that typically we've not allowed the running of dogs in part to help protect the young wildlife that's on the landscape. Wydevin also argued that the hunting dogs themselves could be harmed by peeling back the current law. The dogs are going to be long distances from the hunters and they can't control exactly everything the dogs are going to be doing. If you allow people to run their hounds in May and June when wolves are protecting pups at their den sites, it's likely to increase the number of dogs that are being killed and injured by wolves. But Representative Green says that for both wildlife and hounds, the law as it currently stands doesn't make the difference that advocates are looking for. We love our dogs. I do not want to see them get hurt. And so we have to be aware, and it's something that we deal with all year round. Three months out of the year will be no exception. And Wydevin has no problem with hound hunting, but says three months without it greatly benefits northern Wisconsin's ecosystem. I used to have a dog myself, hunted grouse and, and woodcock and other wildlife with my dog and loved doing it. But I only hunted at times when it was reasonable and it doesn't be stressful and, and not illegally killing wildlife. And in a follow-up email to Newswatch 12, Wydevin also said that repealing this law would, quote, likely disrupt live trapping efforts by the DNR attempting to capture and radio collar wolves for research and population monitoring. The DNR currently has a short window from May 1st to June 30th that wolf trapping can occur without being disturbed by dog training, end quote. Thank you, Jake. And Jeff, these cold temperatures are lingering right now. It was not too bad today, though. Some sunshine, right. temperatures up near 50. Tomorrow is going to be a bit cooler, and then some rains in the forecast for us next Monday. Well, let's go outside now and check on Minocqua. Looking pretty good, right? But the clouds are rolling back in. Still some snow on the roof here in Minocqua currently, but the grass is green. And overall, it's going to be a quiet night, but clouding over once again tonight with low temperatures back in the 20s. Right now, it's 37 in Rhinelander, 42, though, for Anago, 45 for Point. There were some high temperatures across central Wisconsin in the low to mid 50s today with that sunshine earlier. But now it's set and of course sunsets earlier and earlier and earlier now with temperatures in the 20s tonight. All right, so lots of cloud cover across central Wisconsin and far northern Wisconsin, mostly in the UP. Uh, but that's going to fill in tonight again and we'll have some clouds around for a while, followed by partly cloudy skies throughout the day tomorrow. Our forecast then tonight, though, we're talking about partly cloudy skies and mostly cloudy skies for a while with low temperatures down near 22. Your full forecast is coming up, Dan. A fire in Tomahawk has destroyed a restaurant and the upstairs apartments for some of its employees. Now the Tomahawk community is helping support those affected. Not only is Nacho's Mexican Grill a complete loss, so are many of the employees' homes above the restaurant. Nachos posted to their Facebook saying the community's support has been much appreciated. Donations have included items such as clothes, food, and basic necessities. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I know the family appreciates this. I know that they're feeling your love. The chamber has received an outpouring of physical items and are now taking monetary donations that can be donated at multiple locations gift cards, gift certificates, and chamber books. It can be for any of the area chambers and things like that.
To find out more on how to donate, people can visit the article on our website. The Boys and Girls Club of the Northwoods is opening a center next week. The Rhinelander Teen Center will unveil its new facility on Monday with an open house all week. The center will be a safe space for teens to gather for food, friendship, games, homework help, and career exploration. It will be open Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. and Fridays from 2 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. The space is open to all youth in grades 6 through 12th grade. The Dean Center is located at Suite A at 310 North Brown Street. A St. Germain man received a call claiming to be Spectrum and was promised half off his monthly bill for two years. It's a scam that has been seen throughout the country. The scam involves background music that sounds like an authentic Spectrum call, but it isn't. Spectrum has no deal for 50% off. The St. Germain man was asked to buy gift cards from Dollar General or Target, and the two numbers given to him to call back are listed on your screen. If you receive a call claiming you qualify for half off your Spectrum bill, hang up. The Wisconsin DNR announced the results of a study of PFAS in private wells. PFAS are a group of man-made chemicals used for decades in products like nonstick cookware and stain-resistant sprays. The DNR used funding from the EPA to collect private well water samples from across the state. In total, 450 samples were collected, and most of those had PFAS concentrations below the current recommendations. The DNR's groundwater study shows roughly 7 in 10 private wells contain one or more PFAS, but only 1 in 100 contain PFAS above DHS's current health guidelines. Northern Wisconsin is seeing a shortage of emergency responders. To help inspire more to enter the field, local organizations came up with an idea of bringing training simulations to students. Our own Muhammad Abdul Kawi took a trip to Three Lakes High School to learn more. It was a normal day at Three Lakes High School on Friday until about 1 p.m. The school, along with Aspirus Medivac, hosted a training simulation for some students participating in the EMT program with Nicolay College. This is an opportunity for their students to witness our crews run through a simulated 911 call and watch from them getting or receiving the 911 call all the way through to them handing off to our flight crew. Amy Larson is the EMS Outreach Coordinator for Aspirus Medivac. She says this is the first time a scenario like this took place in the Northwoods. EMS across the country right now is really, really hurting for EMS providers from EMRs all the way to paramedics. And my goal is to try and get into as many different schools and agencies as I can to try and build up the knowledge of EMS as a career field. There are six students participating in the EMT program. Willow Schroeder is a senior, and she says it's interesting to see how things operate. It's a lot of fun. We get to learn about different things and experiences in life. So like if we'd ever need this in our real life, we'd be able to know it. And it's also really nice because we get to learn this stuff before college. So instead of having to go to college for this, we get to learn it in high school before. While her high school career is coming to an end, Willow is happy that she is learning as much as she can. I don't plan on going into this career path, but it's a possibility now. Reporting in Three Lakes, I'm Muhammad Abdul Kalwi, Newswatch 12. Part of climate change is rising temperatures, and this affects a longtime staple of Wisconsin. Coming up after the break, we'll learn how researchers are looking to keep milk production high in the future. That's after Weather with Jeff, right here on Newswatch 12. The best doorbuster deals of the year are available now at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Save as much as 80% store-wide and find clearance and overstock items throughout the store at huge discounts while they last. Plus, 72 months special financing at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Get 11% off everything now at Menards. Check out our lighting showroom and update your home's aesthetic. Patriot Lighting is available in so many unique styles and finishes, you're sure to find a look and price that's right for you with more than 300 stock lights priced under $100. Pick up this brush nickel pendant light for $34.97 after 11% rebate. Visit our lighting showroom or check out all our lighting options on Menards.com. Save big money at Menards. My late father-in-law lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. 
He had AMD. I didn't know it then, but it can progress to GA, an advanced form of the disease. His struggle with vision loss from AMD made me want to help you see warning signs of GA. Like straight lines that seem wavy. Blurry or missing visual spots that make it hard to see faces. Like this one. Or trouble with low light. That makes driving at night a real challenge. If you've been diagnosed with AMD and notice vision changes, don't wait. GA is irreversible. It's important to catch it early. Talk to your eye doctor about GA and learn more at gawon'twait.com. Feeling sluggish or weighed down? Could be a sign that your digestive system isn't at its best. Metamucil gummies make it easy to get the fiber you need, promoting your digestive health for a better you. Metamucil gummies, the easy way to get your daily fiber. Vicks Vapo Stick provides soothing, non medicated Vicks Vapors. Easy to apply for the whole family. Vicks Vapo Stick and try Vapo Shower for steamy Vicks Vapors. The best doorbuster deals of the year are available now at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Save as much as 80% store wide and find clearance and overstock items throughout the store at huge discounts while they last. Plus, 72 months special financing at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Well, we made it. The first weekend of November is here. It's now safe to use your outside voice. It's going to feel like it, too, with high temperatures near 40 this weekend before some rain showers get in here on Monday. Outside today, though, lots of sunshine. A bit of a surprise, right? A big hole in the clouds today gave temperatures a boost throughout the afternoon. Many locations saw 50 today and will not so much so across our region for tomorrow. It's still 37 in Rhinelander, 42 for Anago, 45 for Point. So it's still comfy out. Out there we'll have low temperatures pretty much in the 20s area wide this evening as there is lots of cold air just to our north right now and there's lots of warmer air back to our south and west but the cold air is going to win it's going to move this way uh, we're going to stick around and be pretty chilly through here uh, especially through much of next week okay going forward though so 43 tomorrow 44 for us on sunday a bit of a heat wave or so for november on monday with a high of 48 ahead of a cold front that's going to give us some rain showers on monday then we drop down for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Next week, Friday, high temperatures in the low to mid-30s. Okay, so here's the drought monitor where it's been dry across the U.S. And, of course, Wisconsin. We are doing better with this now after several recent rainfalls. But overall, still, levels 1, 2, and 3 drought conditions across parts of north-central Wisconsin. Uh, we're going to work on that, though, as several systems are on the way. Not so much tonight. Today, we had lots of clear skies across central Wisconsin. Meanwhile, it was pretty much cloudy all day in the U.P. It was cloudy all day, say so south of Highway 29, Wapaka County, Portage County, saw clouds pretty much all day. The rest of us, though, saw some sunshine, and that will give us some clear skies for a while tonight and keep things partly cloudy across the region for tomorrow before we have increasing clouds tomorrow night. And then this guy gets in here most likely on Monday, and that's going to bring us some rain showers then. It's going to hit the West Coast first, so here's a live look out there. Mount Rainier expecting its first snowfall, the first bigger snowfall this weekend. If you're heading that way, be ready for that. And they have snow on the way for us, though. Just some rain showers on the way. But it's getting closer and closer, right? I'm going to run the snowfall potential map through next Friday. And we're going to miss two big systems just to our north. So overall, it's that time of year. Once this sinks down this way just a bit, we'll get some more snowfall around here in probably mid-November. Our forecast, though, tonight, though, is lots of clear skies out there. Low temperatures down near 22 with a calm wind after midnight. For tomorrow, it's Saturday. Lots of sunshine tomorrow. And then some clouds throughout the afternoon. High temperature is back up near 43, so cooler than today with that southwest breeze around 5. And then looking ahead, your seven-day forecast by Northwest Furniture and Metro shows a pretty quiet weekend around here. Our clocks go back, of course, uh, late tomorrow night. Monday looks wet, a couple of showers around high temperatures near 48. Tuesday is dry 41 before a healthy rain-snow mix gets in here Wednesday into Thursday of next week. Dan. The bird population has been on a rapid decline in the United States. There are nearly 3 billion fewer birds than in 1970. Michigan DNR wildlife biologist said that's because of a variety of reasons, but habitat fragmentation is the largest factor. Building collisions also kill off a lot of birds. A lot of birds will migrate at night, and uh, it's kind of counterintuitive, but you got a lot of these big buildings that are lit up bright. You'd think, well, the birds can can see them and go around, but it can, apparently it confuses them, uh, it attracts them 
into urban areas, and then they're more likely to, uh, to hit buildings. And that can impact bird populations by killing them. Griffith says there is a very simple way to reduce this threat to birds. Turning lights down or you know, most of the lights off during the spring and fall migrations can, uh, they, I think they said up to 60% um, of the bird uh, collisions can be avoided. So just simple practices like that. And then maybe it saves some energy too, if, uh, less lights on. Certain window layouts make bird collisions less likely. Some of the birds with much lower numbers are snowbirds or juncos, white-throated sparrows, and red-winged blackbirds. Milk and dairy are a major part of people's diets, but high heat and climate change threaten how much dairy there is to go around. Yukon researchers want to fix that problem. Research finds a significant drop in milk production when temperatures are higher than 65 degrees, a problem in the face of a warming planet. The solution could be better breeding using genetics for heat tolerance. Their daughters are going to be still good milk producers, but also are going to deal well during the summer with the higher temperatures and humidity, and we're not gonna be that stressed anymore. Their research also extends to crops as well, which means identifying heat resistant vegetables and best farming practices for a changing climate. It's state championship season for fall sports. Coming up, Saul Meyer will have more from the semifinals for volleyball in that matchup between Prentice and Newman Catholic. A lot of people need to replace their windows or patio doors, but they put it off because they think it'll be too expensive. Hi, I'm Ann Romer. I'm here with Michael Smith from Renewal by Anderson. You really work with the customers to find affordable solutions. We do, Ann. We're the replacement window division of Anderson, one of the largest window manufacturers in North America. So we can usually offer our customers larger discounts and better financing than smaller companies or contractors. Other window companies don't offer your same window and door installation method. Our installers have installed thousands of windows. Our windows are manufactured to precisely fit your specific window openings. Being custom built also means if you have any beautiful trim that you'd like to keep, we can install your windows without impacting that trim. You won't get this with most vinyl windows. And you offer a free window and patio door diagnosis? We do. We'll come to your home and assess your current windows, show you where you might be losing energy, and take measurements. Then we'll leave you with an exact price quote that's good for an entire year. So you're not a high pressure company. My background is in home remodeling as a carpenter. I've seen every window problem out there. So now I just want to help homeowners make their homes more beautiful and comfortable with the right window. And your patio doors are really gorgeous. They are. And they're engineered to easily open and close for years. And with multiple locking points on our patio doors, they provide even greater security. That is so great to hear, Michael. Thank you. It's Renewal by Anderson's Countdown to Black Friday sale. Before November 30th, get 20% off your entire project. Save an extra $100 on every window and make no payments and pay no interest for one year. Plus, qualifying purchases are eligible for a week-long vacation. Our Countdown to Black Friday window and patio door sale ends November 30th. Call 715-318-3535. That's 715-318-3535. My frequent heartburn had me taking antacid after antacid all day long. But with Prilosec OTC, just one pill a day blocks heartburn for a full 24 hours. For one and done heartburn relief, Prilosec OTC, one pill a day, 24 hours, zero heartburn. Vicks VapoStick provides soothing, non-medicated Vicks Vapors. Easy to apply for the whole family. Vicks VapoStick and try Vapo Shower for steamy Vicks Vapors. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Northwoods Furniture, Eagle River. The WIAA Division IV state semifinals featured two teams from our area, Newman Catholic and Prentice, with those two teams squaring off with a shot at the state championship. Both teams have been dominant in the playoffs, sweeping every postseason match except for one to make it to the big dance. That dominance continued for Newman Catholic as they recorded their fifth sweep in the playoffs this year to advance to the state championship game Saturday morning. Fighting Cardinals head coach Betty Lang says that while advancing to the state title game is impressive, she's telling her team to relax and focus for the upcoming game. 
breathe, believe, and ball out. That's what we have in our mind. It's really our positive mindset. We talk a lot about what our self-talk is, and we talk a lot about what our talent level is, and to believe in that. While Prentice couldn't bring home a state title, head coach Mike Murphy is proud to be a part of the winningest team in program history. When the hurt of this subsides, that's what we're going to remember the season on. And, you know, I'm so proud of these girls. It's fantastic. There has not been a practice where they haven't given me 100%. Newman Catholic will take on Waniwak Center in the state title game Saturday at 9 a.m. Newswatch 12's Big Old Fish is brought to you by Kurtz Island Sports Shop in Minocqua. You're going to need a bigger boat. All right, what do you call a fish that won't shut up? Why, a big mouth bass, of course. All right, we're going to move along with this week's Big Old Fish, and we're going to start off with Brindley, who caught this healthy 32 inch northern while fishing off a dock. Well, 32 inches northern. Yeah, you know what I'm going to say, Brindley. That is one big old fish. Way to go. Keep on reeling them in. Next up on this week's Big Old Fish, we have Casey Congleton. Now, he caught this fat 13-inch crappie on a Vilas County Lake using a jig. Well, again, 13 inches crappie. I don't think there's much else to say, Casey, other than that is one big old fish. Way to go. Keep on reeling them in. And finally on this week's Big Old Fish, we have Brian Congleton, who was also fishing on a Vilas County Lake with a rattlin wrap when this stout largemouth smacked his line. Well, photo proof right there, Brian. That is one big old fish. Way to go. Keep on reeling them in. All right, fishermen and women, make sure to keep those trophy pictures coming. All the information you need to be in a future episode of Big Old Fish and win a Norling Taxidermy Fish Mill is on our website, wjfw.com. And remember, anglers, fish on. Rhinelander Pub is open for lunch. Our full menu featuring our all-you-can-eat soup and salad bar is now available for lunch. Ideal for business lunches or get-togethers with family or friends. We open daily at 11 a.m. We welcome reservations. Life moves fast. Take those road trips. Spend afternoons on a boat. Gather around the campfire and create memories without any worries. At Clinner Insurance, your trusted local partner, you're not just a policy number to us, you're a priority. As a company deeply rooted in the Northwoods community, we truly care about the people we serve. With Clinner Insurance and Auto Owners Insurance, you can live life to the fullest, knowing we'll be there for you when you need it most. The next generation of streaming is here. Introducing Spectrum One Stream with internet, advanced Wi-Fi, mobile, and now TV. With the all-new Zumo Stream Box, it's streaming simplified. Get Spectrum One Stream with fast and reliable internet for $49.99 a month, free advanced Wi-Fi, a free unlimited mobile line, and a free Zumo Stream Box when you add Spectrum TV. Go to spectrum.com slash stream, a Spectrum store, or call 833-976-4999. For 46 years straight, more of you have trusted Ford F-Series trucks to help save the day. Stretch the weekend, haul, or tow just about anything, anywhere. That's because they're built Ford tough. And it's why Ford F-Series are America's best-selling trucks 46 years straight. And for that, we thank you. Now lease a built Ford Tough F-150 STX for $3.99 a month for 36 months. Only at your local Ford dealer. It's nothing. Sounds like something. When you have nausea, heartburn, indigestion, systemic diarrhea. Pepto-Bismol coats and soothes for fast relief when you need it most. Sometimes Jonah wrestles with falling asleep, so he takes ZQL, the world's number one sleep aid brand for a better night's sleep. So now he wakes up feeling like himself, the reigning family room middleweight champion. Better days start with ZQL nights. The Rhinelander Pub is now open Monday to Saturday. Come enjoy our newly expanded lunch and dinner menu featuring longtime pub favorites and new entree additions. You will love our all-you-can-eat soup and salad bar and Friday seafood buffet. Join the conversation when you're on the go. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date. News Watch 12, from where you live.
It's almost becoming cliche at this point, but this white buck is rolling around three lakes. Shannon <laughs> Lem sent us this video. Thank you, Shannon, for that. Yeah, it almost looks fake, doesn't it? It's a good it? shot of him. Very nice shot. All right, good deal. The deer is happy tonight, though, with temperatures hanging out in the 30s and 40s out there today. And it's not gun deer season quite yet, so it's a happy deer. <laughs> uh, overall, though, we're going to get more clouds across the area tonight. And then tomorrow, we'll keep things partly cloudy. Uh, lots of clouds across southern Wisconsin today. Overall, we're in good shape, though, until some rain on Monday. Definitely enjoy this weekend. Yes, for sure. Thank you, Jeff. We'll see you back here at 10. <laughs>